Brandon Halls here from God's Real Ministry. I want to talk about spirits. The Holy Spirit has been poured out. And what is going on is where people are not praying. And I mean they're not praying at all really. They're not seeking out I Am or Yeshua. They're just doing what they do. You know, people, people do what they do and they don't really worry about God anymore. It leaves them wide open to spirits. And these spirits, the Antichrist spirit, the Jezebel spirit, they will take over in your temple. They will get in your temple and they will start to make things worse and worse. For if you don't pray, then you don't have the Holy Spirit within. If you've not called on His name, accepted him as your savior and, and Father I come to you in the name of Yeshua I would like to ask for forgiveness of my sin for I am a sinner I would like to ask for any current transgressions or and anything in the past for I aim to please my father and I ask this through, through the blood of Yeshua the son of man Jesus, I ask this in his name that you would forgive me, Father, for I am a sinner. And in doing so, you have accepted the Holy Spirit within. He will go within you. And if you continue to pray and build your foundation, brick by brick by brick, work, works by works, fruit, 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 more fruit, then your foundation will get strong. Your temple will they won't be able to just come into it. For these spirits seek to destroy us. Some even seek to possess you. And once you've done that, you have to work with your family. You have to tell your family that they need to do the same thing. Pray, read the Bible, and try to get right for the times at hand. We are in the very, very last days. And in these days... People do not understand spirits. You say a spirit, they think about a ghost. <laughs> and I used to, too, until I started reading the scripture. Uh, you know, there's a Jezebel spirit, an uh, Antichrist spirit, a spirit of divination, a spirit of prophecy. I mean, there's just all kinds of spirits. Uh, so you really have to get in the scripture and study that. <sighs> but since we're in them last days, and... You know, the end is not. You have to look around and pay attention. These spirits will imitate other people. Or maybe even kind of think like them. If that person has took on Jezebel spirit and you get in contact with them and you have not been praying and you have not accepted the Holy Spirit and you have not been studying, you have not been doing anything, immediately you will change. Your whole personality will change. That spirit will come within you and cause chaos. It is happening everywhere. You'll see people and they do not act right. Pay attention to who they hang out with. They might have a lot of that person's problems, issues. Maybe smoking more, drinking more. It says in the good book that people will not be able to resist their urges of the flesh. That they will just consume, consume, consume. We must pray. We must seal our houses up in the word and in his ways. For his way is true. His way is as we should be. But we are not. For we think that our homes is, this is our house, this is our temple. This is just where we dwell. And it has no worth in heaven. Your computer, your phone, none of that has any, any worth. The only thing that has worth is what you have written on your heart, the works you have put in, and, you know, your family. Your family is pretty important because you connect with them spirits. 
and because you love them, you know, they're part of your family. So you have to get in there and put in good works with them. You can go out and just help people. If uh, someone needs something to eat, give them something to eat. If someone needs a place to lay their heads, it's cold outside, bring them in. But always, always talk about God. Talk about Him. Maybe get the Bible out and pray with them. You know, say that. Yeah, you can come in. You can come in and sleep. But I would like to talk to you about our Father. I am in Yeshua. So what they say. Um, if they can't accept that, then, you know, bring them on in anyways. And then uh, what I would do, honestly, is uh, I would continue to uh, talk about him. I would talk about him, just, you know, get on the computer and, or, or, or uh, record something or read some scripture, uh, witness to him, uh, either way. You know what I mean? But uh, what I'm saying is we're in that last time. And in that last time, people have forgotten him. Since I have forgotten him, he has. He's been weeping. He's been begging. I can't believe he's even trying to get us to come to him. But it's going to come a time where he's going to pour out wrath instead of his spirit. I'm going to tell you, I've been bending my knee and praying. And I love him. And I hope that people can just get over the we own you know what we own that's you know that's our worth the monetary value your worth is inside everyone has worth everyone they were built by God from the clay of the earth they are unique and made in his likeness everyone has worth so if you consider Consider what you own as money, as worth, as monetary, as monetary value is your riches. Then you have. I'm sorry, but you were lost. For we lost a long time ago. Whenever we decided that we would separate the churches from the schools, for it says you bring a kid up in the word. He will. But I can't remember exactly the scripture, so I'm not going to misquote it. But you're supposed to bring them up in the Word. And if they, your kid acts up, you spare the rod, you spoil the child. Can't do that nowadays. For they took the church, they took God. They took God out of the, God out of all the schools. And then they said, you can't whip them. You can't, you can't, you can't whip them. And now they're trying to say, 12 year olds, don't matter, you know, don't matter how old they are, they have rights. They should be able to date whoever. And if not, the state will take you. Now, to me, this sounds like the beginning of the one world government, the one world religion, and I am will not be a part of it. Yes, you won't be a part of it. They will be a new leader. And this leader, he will do miraculous things. And they will wonder to him like nothing we have ever seen. They'll love him. They will love him. And we will know because we'll use discernment and we will pray and we will seek confirmation. We will know that he is the anti-God. He is not God. He's the opposite. The anti-God. And I'm going to tell you, some people think that I'm off my rocker. Most of my family won't even really hear what I'm having to say. So it's not like that I'm reaching people or people are really listening to what I'm saying. But the time is at hand. The separation is so close. Pray. Ask for forgiveness. He knows your heart. Humble it. Humble it in Him. For He is loving and kind and gentle. But He can also be vengeful. Going to if he ain't gonna do it to us. He ain't gonna do it to us as long as we pray. Ask for forgiveness. Go out and put out put in works. Try to help people. People need help. They're lost. 
They don't know who God is. They don't even know his name. They don't even know who I am is. No idea. No idea. I have no idea who Yeshua is. When you speak of a strong delusion, what are you talking about? They think that you're under a delusion. Hmm? You're under a delusion, I guess you probably need to go to a hospital. Okay. Who I am? That's pretty cool. I hear rappers sing it. I hear rock music. A lot of them say, I am a lot. <sighs> I'm just saying that the falling away has already happened. The strong delusion has been sent, which is the Mandela effect. Now, I'm going to touch on this lightly. I'm not going to bash anybody. I know everybody always wonders why I do not speak of the Bible changes too much. <sighs> I'm going to say that I wasn't well studied, number one. And, you know, it does say in the scripture, anyone that addeth or take away from this, his name will be taken out of the book of life. So, I started thinking about it, and, you know, I'm, I, am, I am sure the Lord's Prayer, it has changed. It's, it's, it has changed. Uh, Isaiah 11, 6 has changed. But, the thing is, if we start pushing that real hard all the time, are we being an idle shepherd? Are we being a false teacher because we're pulling them away from God? We're making them where they won't read the book? I know that you can use the Spirit, but don't you need a little instruction first if you don't have a teacher or an elder or a mentor? Mentor, I mean. telling you. The time is now. There's more false teachers than anybody has ever seen. And I will not be one, no matter what. I will pray about it, and I'll ask the Lord what He wants me to say. I'll ask for instruction. I'll ask for patience because I need it. I'm, I'm sort of impatient. I'll also ask Him to guide my mind into remembrance and understanding and use my tongue as His tongue. My ears as His ears. Feet or his feet, every, everything, whatever he wants. If he wants me to go left, I go left. If he wants me to go right, I go right. If he wants me to stop, I stop. If I go, I go. For I am serving. I am. Yes, you believe that. Believe it. And I will serve unto the end. I will serve as long as there is blood in my veins and there is a beating heart in my chest. I will be serving. For he sent his son, and his son, he didn't have to do it. He could have fled. But he allowed himself to be captured, brutally beaten, and then crucified for us. And what do we do? We have forgotten. We've forgotten. We have not studied. We have not looked into learning his name. Uh, we don't even notice when the Bible changes. And I am guilty. I am guilty as anyone else. I am. But I'm going to tell you. I won't be. I won't be guilty no more. I will serve him. I will love him. And I will lead people to him. I'm going to get my family back. For if they are not in God, they are truly lost. For that Antichrist spirit's a nasty one. Jezebel ain't too good either. Spirit of divination's out too. So people have to understand. They have to pray. They have to put on that armor. And you need to get your whole family doing that. Because it's so, I mean, time is so short. Time is so short. The increase in knowledge is, is, is blowing up right now. Darkness coming to the light. Just look around. Wars and rumors of wars. Damascus a ruinous heap. There's so many things that are happening that if you just open your eyes, you will see that we are in the, t the very, very last days. The time where mankind will be very sorry. You will feel as if you failed when you realize that we're in them last days. 
because they're going to come after us. They're going to try to kill all of us. So, I would ask that you would pray. Ask forgiveness. Ask for instruction. And seek confirmation. Ask him, say, I would like to have confirmation, Father. If you would send it to me. And you can even be specific. I would like to get it from outdoors. The weather. You know, the wind or the rain or be specific, you know, in the next three days or the next day, the next 30 minutes, he'll give it to you. But always do it in the name of Yeshua or Jesus or, or I am, you know. Because if you do not, the Antichrist spirit or another one will lie to you and they will give you confirmation. And you will have gained nothing but a lie. And we seek truth. For I'm a truther. I'm a speaker of truth. I won't preach it, people. To speak to him, speak to him as you know, a friend, just as he would. I plan to start a church, but I will not be the head of this church, for there will be no head except for Yeshua. And I am the people will all speak if they like. Whoever likes to speak will go in a circle, and whoever wants to speak can speak. You know, that circle can build it out, but it's not going to be a great big old church. You know, we don't have to sit in a circle. But, you know what I'm saying? It, whoever wants to speak can speak. There won't be um, a pastor to speak or a deacon. Everyone will have fair say. And if we humble our hearts and speak truth and show love to our neighbors and our fellow brethren, I think this can be a beautiful thing. This is Brandon Halls here. I have started a ministry now. It's called God's Real Ministry. Now, we're going to reel them in. I'm going to throw out, I'm going to throw out lines everywhere. There's going to be so many fish out there. We're going to be trying to pull them in. I'm going out right now and I'm doing it. I'm talking to people. I'm trying to tell them. And if we can't get them, if we can't get them by the hook and pull them in, and we can't reel them in, then we'll throw a net. Whatever we have to do, we're going to get them. Because we're fishermen. And we're looking for men and women that love God. Or at least once knew Him or wants to know Him. Or maybe they never wanted to know Him, but He wants to know them. And He's worked His way into the life and they've decided that they will accept Him. For He's the best thing that ever happened. Without Him, we have nothing. And the next one, will be a lie. I don't know about you, but I seek truth. I don't want lies. Lies, lies don't do nothing. Lies bring death. You tell one lie, you gotta tell ten lies. Every time. Every time. So, why lie? I want to stand in truth. I want you all to know that as of this moment, I've said this before, we'll be speaking truth on this channel. I said that before. I would like y'all to go back and look back at the Mandela Effect I Won't Be Stopped video. Um, I'm having trouble with my live streaming because I can't figure out how to work it now because they changed it. But I do want to say that anyone who would like to contact me, I have a number set up for God's Real Ministry. There is a phone number. So... Contact me by email, or if you have me on Google Hangouts, you can get a hold of me like that. And I'll give you the phone number, and you can call me anytime. It don't matter who it is, anyone can call. I'm a minister. Not a very good one yet, but I'm working at that. If you have a problem, or questions, or just need to talk to somebody, call me. I'll be there. For I am serving. And in serving, you have to serve your fellow man. Trying to serve them as well so that they might have a chance at salvation. They might have a chance to go to the everlasting of everlasting. And sit at the table with King of Kings, at least be able to see. Man, I mean, goodness gracious, he gave everything. He, gave, he let them kill him. I mean, really? They stuck nails in his wrist, nails in his feet, 
Then they stabbed him after they hung him up there for a long time. That's after they had done beat him, made him drag a cross. So pick up your cross, become a disciple. Realize the time is now. There is a movement for people to come to God. You know, this is not a Hollywood show, but there is a movement in California too. And people could really come to him right now, but they won't. They won't. They'll say they would, but they won't. They never do. They never do. But I will. We will. I speak truth. Always. People try to say a lie sometimes because they cannot believe what I'm saying. But if I say it, I'm going to say the truth. Or I'm going to say that I don't want to answer it. So I don't have to lie. If I lie, I have to pray immediately. And ask for forgiveness. So that works. But this is Brandon Hall's here. Trust your memories. Don't let them lie to you. I want to say one more thing. I'm not saying that the Bible has not changed or it has changed. There are some things that I know has changed. And there are some gr grammar errors that I just don't think scholars would allow. And there's one, the seven thunders uttered. I've read Revelations about five times. Anyone knows if that was in there before, let me know. The seven thunders uttered. Just look it up. Bible Gateway. Anyways, I love you, Father. Don't let anyone tell you that God ain't real. Because God is real. And He is real and loving. Love God and He'll love you. If you bless God, He'll bless you. If you damn God, God will damn you. Bless.